Hello and welcome back to my gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy. Today we're going to be going on a few adventures with Sebastian, so let's get to it. Now, uh, we can have a look around in peace. Clear out these spider webs. Always seems to be in the way. A room symbol. Off the cavern door. Ranrock's lighters never knew to look for it. Wasn't expecting that. See, the world floated back to me as if in a watery haze. How long had I been unconscious? Well, I remember his eyes empty. Empty of sorrow, yes, but also I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish, but then everything started to turn. When I fell, I must have hit my head. I neither feel nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing. I can only hope it is not the Black Death. At least he is no longer in pain. Maybe she's absorbing the pain. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Runrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? I feel like he's going to say something if I mention that he's a goblin. <sighs> he's going to get mad at me either an hour later. A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know, goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. 
I do, but not all goblins. Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. What the hell's happening to him? <laughs> So mad at me? Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it, but I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't, I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. Okay, student report. The catacomb assignment yielded more than I'd imagined. Learning about our ancestors was illuminating. However, I stumbled upon something else I could not ignore. In an area behind the great room which had suffered decay, uh, amid the turned over sarcophagi, I discovered an oddly shaped relic. Immediately, I sensed its power. I would be thrilled to study the relic further if only the removal of objects were allowed. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Alright, come on, Sebastian, let's go. I'm just kidding, we have a quest to go on. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. You ready, Sebastian? I think you're ready. That was it, and the rest of the tomb will be insect-free. 
Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. <laughs> What's over here? Taller than it looks. It's over here. Ooh, okay. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. I'd wager the sarcophagi can be opened. Sleep better tonight. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Oh, my God, those spiders are huge. Oh, my God. this grass it no longer feels like a tomb i've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems often cave-ins and then were abandoned exactly we'll be fine though oh okay i'm sorry i don't think so i think that was it let's get out of here Here it seems. Okay, let's go. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside the sarcophagus. What's it doing Seems here? Odd. There's something here by the altar. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it lay. But research must come before my fealty to the rules. I sense something about this relic. I was told that those chosen by English oak wands have powerful intuition. I believe it. Therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I use their very bones as the key. I plan to return to it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment, learning the Imperious Curse. A spell is set to serve well against enemies. Oof, what did you wild. find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using... Bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. 
You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Oh, or that is creepy. Place, no bone. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, dang, that was loud. Did you hear that? We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Oof. That's a lot of bones. Is insane. Okay, come with me. Oh, that is so crazy to look at. I have to bring them over here. insane. Whoa, that's so creepy. If this archway's been... You've done it! I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Oh, this is nice. such a creepy area. I have a bad feeling. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Ooh. Let me ask him how he knows them. Why did you learn the Imperius Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. 
It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. Let's do this. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Ooh, I'm so excited. Here we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Of using unforgivable spells. one this should be a cinch how great is it? I try that worked keep going Spider over here first, and we'll come back to it. Oh, it's creepy. There's a lot of them.
we go. Never knew spiders could make such a mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? this far, but clearly we have more to do. That's insane. It's to Lumos. 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 Okay, I'm back at this main area then. Oh, there you are. Thank you. 
This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. <laughs> 